awesome thing is the warm heart of my homestay mom. I'd like to talk about my homestay mom's kindness. Uh, last week she she did a uh, awesome thing for me. I'm looking for I was looking for a news article to use my presentation on January 9th. I after dinner I asked my homestay mom if I could borrow her newspaper newspaper. And I also I told her I'm looking for interesting um, article an um, interesting article. But it was some sometimes it was difficult to find one. So the next morning I wake woke up and went down to the new paper and I found I found I found a news article on the table. The news article was about how to celebrate New Year's in Japan, in, in Tokyo, in Japan. I I hadn't expecting anything, but she gave me uh, she gave me her warm heart. I was so glad she had this time for me and for her kindness. I'd like to tell you about a bitter story, bitter homestay story. I lived in I lived in Canada for 11 months, five years ago. So this time is my second time visiting in Canada. Mm -hmm. and last time I stayed in Vancouver for six months and Victoria is for five months. I stayed in a homestay five for eight months. During eight months I moved three times. Before I left Japan, I had a lot of expect expectations about my homestay. I thought they would welcome to be welcome me their family. Mm -hmm. But my first 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 homestay mom didn't meet my ex expectations. She lived alone and she had three children, including me. At that time. She, uh, at that time, I couldn't speak English at all, so I felt she didn't, she didn't have a warm heart. For example, she didn't want to talk with me a lot. I complained that my room was so cold. I caught a cold many times, so I asked her, but she said, "I don't think your room is so cold." So only my room was on the first floor. I found out that that the other rooms were warm downstairs. One so one day my homestay mom suddenly said said to us, my family will visit uh, during Christmas holiday, so you need to move this house the end of November. <laughs> so I was so shocked and surprised. So my next homestay was house was worse. My homestay mom was moody and kept her three students in down in the basement with a bathroom and kitchen. Mm -hmm. So my two roommates and I couldn't could only meet our homestay family at dinner time. I couldn't talk with them so much. I decided to de to stay there for one month. So this room is it was so cold. <laughs> so and so next house is like this. So through this experience, I learned a lot. I de I developed a strong mind, and I I had to speak my mind if I if there was something I wanted to say. The best point was I got a strong relationship with my roommates. We had the same feeling. Mm -hmm. This time I wondered if I should live in a homestay or share house. But my choice was good this time. At first I was a little bit not scared to meet my homestay mom. She also lives alone and accepts only one student. I remembered my bitter memories, but I changed all my ideas. 
so she welcomed to me. So she's she's always kind. She she's always kind, gentle, yeah. and has wow. a warm heart with love. I told her about my experience, so she couldn't understand and she couldn't believe my my situation. Now I'm very satisfied staying in my house. She talks with me all the time. If I have a problem, she always listens and give, gives advice. She has had a homestay student for 10 years. Vix is only Japanese student, so she knows Japanese personality. She showed me her albums of student, so I was touched. And she she always appreciates student gift, card, and pictures. I am grateful to her for everything. Five years ago, I didn't want to go back to home, go back home, but now I want to stay home and spend time with my with the mom. Thank you.